Hey guys, it's me Sydney and I'm back with another update video. So you guys are probably like this isn't your room This doesn't look like your house Um, it's not if anyone if anyone has ever seen like any of my videos where I'm traveling This is in California because this is where my boyfriend lives. So like right now I'm like I'm not in his kitchen, but I'm like in like his front room right now filming this anyways I figured let's just chat for a second so yesterday I went to the psychiatrist and I'm gonna give you some background before I do that but I'm gonna tell you I went to the psychiatrist and I went there because my psychologist which is like a therapist a counselor whatever you want to call them said that they think that I was that I'm bipolar so that's why I went yesterday I kind of wanted to give you guys an update because like I've been really struggling with figuring out like what the heck is wrong with me what's the root of the problem everyone wants to diagnose me with some type of disease or some type of uh, mental disorder or like any anything you know like bipolar they just want to diagnose me something and give me medication for it but I really don't think that that's the root of the problem and I'm not saying that it's it can't be the root of the problem but like I don't I really don't believe it is I believe there's something that I just need to deal with and I'm just I need someone to just talk it through with and find changes that I can make that are healthy positive that don't involve medication so that's kind of where I stand but basically I went and saw my psychologist not my psychiatrist my psychologist back in like April uh, like like last Thursday it's it's been like a week since I saw them and then I made an appointment and I saw my psychiatrist who was super nice but uh, he was just it was like hard for me to go anyway I was very hesitant to go and that was like on Wednesday so I was about like six days after I saw my psychiatrist or my psychologist so my psychiatrist was supposed to give me an evaluation so I was there I got my evaluation and let me tell you right now with like I get a little stressed because doing all of these things they cost money and I have insurance obviously but like I, I know why people stress out about money because like these appointments are not cheap like my so I think I did get a discount through my insurance but it was still like $195 just to get a, psych a psychiatrist evaluation and then I only have like three sessions for free through my insurance for my psychologist so it's one of those things where it's like I know that using these resources they are not going to be free forever and like pretty soon I'm gonna have to be paying out of pocket for it so with that being said it's kind of stressful just because of the fact that I feel like these resources should be covered more by my insurance but at the same time like that's a stressful factor anyways so I saw my psychologist and my psychologist was talking to me we talked for like at least an hour and they're like, well, what I'm seeing signs of is bipolar. I don't want to put that on your record yet until you get a psychiatrist um, evaluation before we put that on your record. And I was like, it didn't hit me what it, what bipolar really was because like it's been in my head before thinking, okay, maybe I'm bipolar. Maybe that's why I get these really like, in so like today is like a pretty like chill one. Like I don't feel any way today. I just feel like empty. And and I'm pretty aware of my emotions so like one day could be really really good one day could be really bad like one day it's like like I'm a zero or a three I'm never a zero a zero is like suicide and then but like I'm usually at like maybe a three on my really low days to a 30 like that's like my low days you know a three to a 30 out of a hundred and then on my high days I'm at like a hundred and ten a hundred and twenty like it's like I feel like I, I get really shaky I kind of feel like I'm going crazy my mom she'll like accuse me that I'm on drugs and I'm not on drugs you guys like that's one of the biggest things I want to talk about is the fact that like I act like I'm on drugs like I get I talk really fast I get really shaky my mom gets really worried and that's like how I am for the entire day um so that's like manic as my psychologist told me and so you know I've had this in my head before because I I know I act manic like I know that that is something that happens but <sighs> When I went into my psych, um, uh, psychies, oh god, my psychiatric, nope, psych, psychiatrist, psychiatrist, when I went into my psychiatrist evaluation, 
my parents have told me they're like well if you get labeled that it's gonna be so it's gonna be on your record forever and i was like you know what like i'm gonna answer these questions i was having a little bit of a better day and i'm just gonna be very like blunt i'm not gonna be dramatic i'm not gonna like sugarcoat anything but i'm also not i really don't want it on my record so i told him that and he was like well by the end of it after talking for an hour and a half or whatever to this guy it was like i didn't feel any better you guys because talking to my psychologist i felt better talking to the psychiatrist i felt like shit afterwards like i started feeling like i was becoming manic during like not even manic i was just like frazzled afterwards and maybe like i was like having anxiety or whatever it was but like i don't really know how to explain it but like when i walked out of the evaluation and i was leaving the waiting room and stuff and i was like leaving the building i was getting into my car and i was like i need to sit and i need to breathe because like i felt like i couldn't think i felt like the whole world was just like uh, like that and um i just felt like i couldn't concentrate and it was like an overwhelming feeling and then but the end result of this whole thing was like he basically said i'm 90 percent i'm 90 percent sure that you are not bipolar and i was like oh great awesome cool but he never said i'm a, i'm not 100 percent. he never said 95 he said 90 so like that's kind of annoying because i feel like i didn't get a full straight answer um and i also think like having my hormones and everything like i feel like that <laughs> adds into bipolar no one else in my family really has bipolar so it's not something that like runs genetically in my family and yeah so like i mean i didn't get a full straight answer which is what kind of sucks because i feel like my psychologist is going to continue saying hey we want you to get more tests done and i really i don't know like i feel like i can handle this like i want answers but i also feel like the healthcare system wants money and they want things because i don't yeah i'm just yeah i'm just very like lost right now you guys and it's really hard because i just anyone else who struggled with this in the past like i'd love to hear your advice and your comments and stuff because it really it's one of those things where like i don't want to feel this way and i want answers but i also don't want medication so i know some of the answers i'm going to get are going to be like take medication take antidepressant antidepressants and take like you know xanax take like things that just like i don't want to put into my body so i don't know i'm just like at this place where i'm trying to find coping mechanisms that aren't going to be medication but i also want answers so it's kind of hard because i feel kind of like in lost world the other thing too is like i'm not since i feel like i'm really not bipolar like i'm not putting in my head as an excuse or anything like that but i know that there's something there's something else that like i'm trying to deal with i don't know if it's just anxiety or what it is but i don't know because i go on an endorphins high because i'm really passionate and i was telling my um psychiatrist this and i was and like how i feel like i'm on cloud nine or ten when i talk to clients and when I'm just like doing what I love to do, which is my social media marketing agency. And he was like, well, it just seems like you're really passionate. And I was like, you know what? You're right. But everyone else has been trying to label it as being bipolar. And when I go to events, I'm like super high. And like, I feel like everyone has that high and they have the letdown. And that's what people have been labeling me as for bipolar. But I had that happen a lot. So I really don't know. Um, and then going off of that, afterwards though, after the entire psychiatrist appointment, I just felt so empty, lost, frazzled, um, overwhelmed, and I felt like I was in a worse place after talking to him because I had no answers. I came in there for clarity and I didn't get any clarity. I got 90% sure you're not bipolar. I would have loved to have heard 100% sure you're not bipolar, but he didn't say that, nor did he say I'm 10% sure you are bipolar. Like It was just weird because... I just feel like I didn't get the full answer I was looking for, the full clarity. Um, so that kind of sucked, but I kind of wanted to update you guys on that because, like, I feel like it's really important to talk about these things and, like, the struggles that I go through. And, like, if anyone is bipolar, you know what? My heart goes out to you. If anyone has mental health issues, my heart goes out to you. If any of you guys are struggling with anything, know that you're not alone. I'm here for you. And, like, even when we have our low days, we just feel like we're all over the place we feel like we can't get a grip on our lives and we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel just realize that there is one and it's really hard because sometimes i forget sometimes i'm just like my life sucks like i no one loves me like even when i have a great boyfriend like i'm so irrational you guys i will literally like threaten 
breaking up or anything even though that is like the last thing I ever would want like I would be so heartbroken if that happened but like I become really irrational and I make decisions that are just like stupid which is something that comes with bipolar that's what the psychiatrist told me um and it's just one of those things where it's like I don't follow through with a lot of them but like I hate that like some things I say or do or anything like that are like jeopardizing relationships and friendships and things that I have with other people because of the way that I'm acting so I don't know I just wanted to update you guys and I wanted you guys to know that right now I'm in California though and I feel really good up until May 21st I'm gonna be with Tim Tim's coming back to Arizona with me and he's gonna help me with some stuff and like we're just gonna hang out um and I'm working still so it'll be nice because like I'll have his support and then I'm going to Cancun so I'm just I'm just gonna be like really rolling through this semester this like summer and feeling out life again and trying to find coping mechanisms talking to my uh, psychologist and just figuring out ways to be happy because now I feel like one of the things is like after having that meeting and nothing going the way I wanted it to I just need to have some clarity I need to be able to know hey like what can I do to make these changes because I don't want to have a breakdown in like three years and feel like shit and then have to do it all over again like I don't want to have this happen again in next April I just need to get a grip on everything so with that being said though I love you guys so much I just wanted to update you right now on that whole thing I'm gonna be doing more updates um more videos I'm gonna be getting back into the fitness content I just need to find a new gym because your girl wants a new gym and I want one that's gonna let me film so I can film like workout stuff and yeah I'm gonna do another day in my life pretty soon and I'm gonna do a college reflection so if you guys are interested in that keep watching but besides that it is currently Thursday May 3rd at 2 36 Tim got off work like six minutes ago so he'll probably be back here at like 45 and it's 36 right now so i just wanted to film this before he got home and i'm gonna finish drinking my water um i'm gonna update you guys on other things but i figured this would be a really good update to talk about because i feel like there's something i need to talk about but the next update video that i do is gonna be talking more about like my eating issues that i've been having and yeah so i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys in my next video I love you.